Well, since I have the bumper off my car to service the heat exchanger, I thought I'd make a really cool video here on how it all works. And this is for the Torque Tech supercharger system. But I went ahead and drew this diagram. And so here you have the heat exchanger, which is that radiator looking piece in the front. And the, the water or coolant that's inside it starts out in an expansion tank, which is like that one right there. And it goes from the tank, gravity fed to a pump, and then the pump takes it through this heat exchanger, which is what the, uh, the air goes through as you're driving down the road to cool. So it cools the hot liquid in here, and then the pump continues to push it up over to the bottom of the intercooler, which is underneath the supercharger. And so the water circulates in here, and then it comes out the other side, and it goes it, it still goes with pressure from the pump back to this tank where it circulates and it's recycled here and then it's gravity fed and goes through the whole cycle again so I thought that was a really easy way to show how it works and now on the car you can see what I was talking about here you have the expansion tank and the water goes out the bottom gravity fed to the intercooler pump which is right here so it comes down that line, this is the line that, that uh, was at the expansion tank, into the pump. This whole unit's the pump and it swirls it around and it takes it down over to the heat exchanger. There's the heat exchanger. And on the other side, there's another hose that comes out the top. And that hose comes up over to the bottom of the intercooler. And so you can see it's the bottom one there and goes goes into the bottom through the inner cooler and then back out the top one and to the expansion tank. So it's just a big circle and that cool, the coolant or water will circle through there and it cools down. You can put ice in there. Some people have these tanks in their trunk. So if they have a bigger box in the trunk so it can uh, cool better. And that helps with a heat soak. It helps with getting cooler air underneath the blower and uh, more performance. All right, all back together. And that's how it should be. There we go. Has to be completely full. All the hoses. <laughs>